How many people get triggered by what people say to them? I know I'm one of those people, right? But here's the thing, because we haven't been given emotional intelligence, that we haven't learned this in school and that this hasn't been a part of our life, we tend to react and react with saying things back to them or saying things that, you know, we call them, um, we act out of character and we call them names and we do all of these things, which is not necessary. Why? Because every person you call into your life that's triggering you is showing you where you have a weakness and a place where you can become stronger. You see, triggers are there to help you to redefine yourself, to understand yourself. One of the biggest reasons why we have problems in the world is because we're constantly reacting to people instead of realizing that if they're a gift from God coming in and saying, hey, you know what? Here's some places where you're weak and here's places where you can strengthen yourself and fortify yourself. So you leave the room, you, you go into the trigger, you grab your hands, you squeeze them and you breathe and you take breaths and you do this, you keep squeezing and you breathe and you do this about 10, 15, times, whatever time it takes you to feel that energy and look at the trigger. Where did it come from? It has nothing to do with the other person. Once you heal the trigger, you go back and you say, sorry, for the things that I've said. Why? The idea is for men and women, we have to take responsibility for how we're experiencing emotions. And that can only happen when you say sorry to the person so they can close the wound from the reaction that you had. And also remember this, that when they are triggering you, they are actually creating a better life for you because then you become untouchable. Because the more you heal these triggers, the more you're not reactive. And the less reactive, the more you can get on with your life and enjoy your life. I mean, what I love about this is that you are saying, let's flip the script. Emotions are there for a purpose. They are there to help us survive. So even negative emotions tell us something really important about our own mm, emotional absolutely. and physical survival. Yes. And I love that you're saying, use it and say, thank you, because this is going to make me better. So whether or not you were trying to trigger me because you were trying to make me angry or make yourself look better than me, well, guess what? You did the opposite. How I'm long do you leave if you're at dinner with myself. someone and this happens? <laughs> oh, how, should, how long do you leave for? You should see. I literally, like, <laughs> sometimes when my girlfriend sets me off, I go, honey, I need to go outside the restaurant right now. I need to go figure out what this trigger is. Then I come back and I say, you know what? It came from my childhood, from the school teacher who said this thing to me. And I just want to let you know, I'm sorry for the things I said to you. And let's get back on to where we are. I'm going to ask you one tough question though. Yeah. Sometimes we have triggers which are in our, they're seemingly insurmountable. And mm -hmm. we get so frustrated. And maybe it's a trigger where it's just, you know someone is in the wrong. Mm -hmm. How do you handle that from the perspective of being gracious, not allowing it to ruin you and your mood, your life? How do you address a situation with someone like that? First of all, look at it from this perspective, right? The question you always wanna ask yourself is what? Do you wanna lead with love or do you wanna lead by making people bad, right? So the idea of evolution is to be able to enhance people from where they are because we're not on the planet of perfection. This is the planet of refinement. No one in this room, not including myself, are not gonna be perfect. Perfect doesn't exist. So the idea is to one, always lead with, because I love you, because I care about you, or because I know you're powerful and you can handle this, I'm gonna share something with you that I think is gonna benefit both of us and help us to grow and help you to grow because I care about you and I wanna see you grow. Uh, and if you're dealing with someone in your life where you wanna give unsolicited information, don't do it. Never give anyone unsolicited information. It's not your right to go in and tell people how to be. You can ask permission. I have amazing wisdom to share with you, beautiful things that I think that would enhance your life and make your life even greater and better than where it is. Are you open to hear it? If they say no, you back off because you don't wanna be that person who feels like you're helpless and that no one listens to you and no one cares about you, you're the one who's creating that for yourself because you're insulting yourself because they're not listening to your wisdom. If we start learning more emotional intelligence and learn how we can adapt these things in our lives every day, we're gonna live more happier, more longer, and more peaceful in who we are. Wow. You should, you should write a book about this. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait.